Good afternoon, my precious people. <laughs> Welcome to watching these precious nursery. I thought I'd get on here and say hello. I've been very, very busy. I didn't, I don't think I shared in my last video, but I did get an apartment. I move in next Thursday the 1st. I'm very, very excited. It's a little apartment, but it's perfect for me and my cat and, of course, my babies. Um, I'm holding him today because he hasn't been wrapped. Over here is a bunch of dolls that have already been wrapped in blankets and getting ready to go. Um, I am very excited to be to have my own um, apartment. Um, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, so I just wanted to get on here and share that information with my Dolly family. Um, that's why I haven't been on here. I haven't been making videos because I've been pretty busy getting, you know, getting things done. Um, I had to call the electric place today to get my electric turned on over there. And I now have to look for internet service. Um, I seen a couple places I'm going to call, so I will probably work on that tomorrow. So, yeah, I've been pretty busy. I took my cat to the vet today because she needed up-to-date shots, and she did get three shots today. Well, actually, she got two shots because they put two things into one shot, but she got three different medications, but instead of giving three shots, they did two in one and then and then her rabies shot, which she will get once a year. Um, so, and... She was doing a little bit of sneezing, so I talked to them, and they said, oh my gosh, she's really, really healthy. She's going to be 15 in September, so they couldn't believe she was going to be 15. She looks so young, but um, they did notice that um, usually in older cats, they start to lose bone density, I think it's called, so she is starting to lose some of that. That's where she shows her age, um, but other than that, they said she's a very healthy cat. Um, she had her nose was dry nose was fine her eyes are fine um when they were checking her heart and everything she was growling at them so they did what they could do she's right now running around the room and then they they wanted to give her um a pill medication for fleas and then and they i says well, you know the easiest way to give her that pill is to put it inside of a moist treat and she'll just swallow that hole for you and she did it and she's like oh wow and <laughs> she did because I don't even think she chews her treats. I think she just swallows them whole. Right, Lily? Right? Did you go to the doctor's today? You're not, you weren't happy with me, were you? She was not happy with me because I took her to a place that gave her needles. <laughs> um, but after she got her shots and I got her back in her cage, she was quiet in her in the cage, in the um, carrier all the way home. She cried all the way there, but all the way home she was quiet. She knew she was leaving that place to give her needles. Um, but I'm just so glad that she's healthy and her um, vet appointment went out great, went great. Uh, she goes back um, next three to four weeks to get her second December shot um, because she hasn't had shots in so long. So they're just going to do it. And um, that's going to be a short visit. So that'll be good. But yeah, so I'm holding Vincent. Say hi, Vincent. <laughs> He was over here on the shelf, so I figured I'd grab him. Yeah, I have him and one other baby on the shelf, and then sitting over here is Matilda. You know, my getting to everything. So, my apartment is small. Here's Lily. Say hi, Lily. Say hi to everyone. Yeah, she was not happy. She's okay, Dale. <laughs> but, um... It has two bedrooms, but the one bedroom is really, really small. Um, I'm not going to set it up like with, I'm not going to put a crib in there um, because it is small and my kitchen is small. So I need a place to put a pantry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, these two cabinet things I've been looking at. And they're kind of like the metal, but they're nice. And um, they're black. So I'm going to get two of those and one I'm going to store dolls in. Um... And then the other one I'm going to use as a pantry for food. And then I'm going to have my two cubby things that I'm going to be keeping clothes in. And then I'm going to sit some dolls on there. Some dolls will sit on top of, of the, of the um, 
They're not wardrobes. I don't know what to call them, but they're like metal, they're black, and they have shelves inside. So I figured they'd be perfect for a pantry and perfect for my dolls. And then I do have two little doll beds. I'll probably put them in there. So it'll be set up cute. It'll, you know, it'll be like a nursery, but it'll have two little beds. And I just got to use it for what I need the room for. I was going to stick a single bed in the room, but it's just, it would take up too much space. It wouldn't really fit right. And I wouldn't be able to stick the um, two cabinet things that I need to go in that room in there. So I think that is more important than a crib or a bed. Well, I definitely knew I wasn't putting a crib back up. Um, I did know I wasn't doing that. And then I have my other room. Now in my room, which is small, but it'll fit my bed and my dressers. Um, and then I'm going to have um, one little doll bed in there because I'm going to stick my silicones in my bedroom. Um, I, I, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure only because um, I don't know if I'm going to be letting Lily in the room during the day and then just kicking her out at nighttime. I'm definitely going to be kicking her out at nighttime so she don't try to sleep on my head. So if I'm leaving the door open, then I'm not going to be able to stick my silicone babies in there. Then they would go into the other room. And then I'll just stick a couple of my other dolls in that room. So I will have one little doll bed in that room for a couple of my babies in there. And then the other room will have all my other dolls. Dolls that I'm going to interact with regularly will be out. And then dolls that I'll not interact with all the time will be put away. And then I can change them out. And I think that'll be a, a good thing because I do have a lot of dolls. I still have dolls that I'm selling. I know I keep saying I'm going to do an update it for sale video, but um, the last video I did dolls for sale um I don't I didn't sell any from doing I don't think I sold any from doing that video whatsoever none I did post some dolls for sale and I did sell some that way like I just sold um my Dustin I sold him and my Chase um I have two Chase I have one that I named Penny that one is staying and then I have the other one with the root of hair I did just sell that one I'm meeting her next Friday and she's gonna um pick that up she lives a little distance away but she's bought off me plenty of times so we're gonna like meet halfway and she's gonna buy that one so I actually sold dolls more by advertising them in the groups near where I live than I did doing them on the video and I do get people asking me are you gonna do an updated sale video you're gonna do an update sale video but I'm like not selling them off of there I'm selling them from different groups that I place them in I do friends and family. People don't have to buy off me if you choose not to, but that's the way I sell them. And, um, like I've had these, um, Ashton Drake, these little, the little mini Ashton Drakes for sale forever, like six of them for like, what, 200 bucks, I think it was, or 220. And that was shipped. And I mean, I don't have their little certificates and all, but they were in good shape. I've had them for sale forever. Um, I have a whole collection of them. Like a whole collection. Why I collected them. I just thought they were cute. And I collected them. And they were sitting in my mom's um, secretary desk. But now that I'm going to have a place for my mom's secretary desk. I'm putting her willows back in there. Because she had these little statues. They're called willows. Um, and I think I've bought her two of them. My brother's bought her a couple of them. And they're going to go back in the secretary desk where they belong. So then... Then I got to figure out a spot to stick all those. And I have the a whole collection of 10 inch ones, a whole collection of the six inch um, M&M character ones. And then I have these little four inch ones. That's a lot. <laughs> but, um, and then I have like 10 Paradise Gallery dolls still for sale and they're all brand new. I'm just not shipping them in their original box, but they are sitting in their original boxes. But, and I have, those still for sale and they still haven't sold yet so you know maybe i will do a um a for sale video she is running all over this room i don't know what kind of shot she got but she's like full of energy and she's running all over the place and i got things packed all over like i got two totes sitting here three boxes sitting there i got a box over there couple bags 
I have two big totes over on this side. Right outside my door, I got stacked three more totes. Um, so I've got so much stuff already packed. And most of my stuff, obviously, is in my sheds. But, hey, Vincent. He cuddles nice for a big baby. He really does. Yes, he does. Oh, my hair. <laughs> it looks like... You know what? When I turn my head, sometimes it looks like I have a knot. But what happens is it bunches up right there. And it looks like I have a knot there. But I don't have a knot. <laughs> I brush my hair a lot. I have to because it's like all the way down my back. And if I do not brush it regularly, it will knot up. And then when I wash it and condition it, it's like a chore <laughs> to wash, to brush my hair out. But So I, I just wanted to get on here and say hello and let everybody know the good news. And after I am in the place and settled, which will probably be a couple weeks after I'm in there, I will be on video in my new place. And I can give you a tour of the room where my dolls are going to be. Uh, I guess I could call it, I guess I could still call it a nursery because it's going to be kind of like a nursery. It's just not going to have a crib in there because I have to put other things in there that are important but it will have it will have a baby seat in there um maybe two baby seat two baby beds so it'll have like a, a two little um cradle things and my dog clothes in there well yeah i guess it will look kind of like a nursery <laughs> but i definitely have to stick a pantry in there because it's needed so oh He's a chunky boy. He is a chunky boy. <laughs> yes, he is a chunky boy. So, uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if I talked about. I'm pretty sure I talked about my doll meetup. And I can't wait till the next one. I really can't wait till the next one. But I also wanted to mention. Um, I live in New Jersey. And if there is anybody out there that. Would love to meet up, do maybe dolly alling, all, all, uh, dolly outing and get together or just hang out. Leave me a message and maybe we can do that. Lily, why are you running all over the place? Because it would be nice to um, meet some dolly folk where I live. That would be nice so I can do some get togethers and do some outings and stuff. So... But I'm going to get off of here because I still have some things to do today. I have been so busy lately. So busy. I haven't even been chatting that often, even online with people that I chat with every day. I haven't been chatting as often. Um, I've had a couple people hit me up in the last couple of days and asked if I was okay and everything. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I haven't been too talkative. I just got so much going on right now. But... Once I get settled in my place and all, I'll be back on there chatting again. <laughs> but I just got a lot going on. Oh, God is so good to me. Oh, my gosh. I prayed that um, I would get a place here where I live and get a place where I'd be close to my aunt and uncle and um, be close to my Christian family. And God provide it because I got exactly what I asked him for. Um, I've been praying for it for a while, but it wasn't time yet for me to have a place. And, um, I guess this is where he wants me because I was able to get a place now. So it's all in God's timing, not mine. And I am just so grateful to God that I got to stay in this area. God is good. No, nope. always answers prayers may not be in your timing but it's in his timing everything is in his timing because God knows what I need God, God knows all my needs so my needs will always be taken care of I'm just in a really good mood today <laughs> I really am in a good mood today I was in a good mood yesterday too, so it's always nice to be in a good mood and, you know, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. 
I've never lived by myself yet. I've always either um, was with somebody or um, I have my children live with me. So this will be my first place by myself. I'm really excited. It's the front half of an apartment. But I am really excited about this journey in my life. <laughs> but um, okay, I am going to get off here. And I hope that everybody has a good week. I don't know when I'll be on here again. Maybe I'll try to be on here again before I move. I Hopefully I can um, because I have been really busy. But if not, I hope everybody has a great week and has a great weekend coming up soon. And I will talk to you later. Bye now.